working on this urban garden for the past few weeks, and I'm finally ready to be able to plant my raised beds. Over here I have a variety of different plants. I've got heirloom tomatoes and some sweet red peppers and a bunch of different types of herbs that I'm gonna plant in my raised beds. Together they're gonna make an amazing tomato sauce. I'm gonna start off with planting my heirloom tomato. And this is an Amish paste tomato. And I also have a marigold here. Now when you're planting tomatoes, you wanna have uh, different types of plants with that tomato that are gonna complement that tomato. So marigolds and basil are great companions to tomatoes. I'm gonna take this over here and I'm gonna just place it. And what I like to do when I start planting a raised bed is I like to place all of my plants first. In this cluster, what I've done here is I'm stagger planting it. So I've done a row of three, and then now I'm gonna do a row of just two plants. I think a really good complement to this bed is gonna be a few purple basil plants. This is called dark purple opal basil. Mmm, and you can already smell the basil. So I am going to intersperse a couple of these basils in here. Now basil loves warm weather. So when you're gonna plant your basil, it's not something that you wanna plant early in the season. It's something that you wanna plant pretty much late, late spring, early summer when it's warm out here. Now, what I'm gonna do is plant my sweet red peppers. These are a mixture of Chinese chives here and just regular common chives. I just wish that you were able to be here to smell the amazing aromas. Okay, now that I've laid everything out, I can start planting. I'm gonna start back over here. All right, so these Amish paste heirloom tomatoes have been growing in this container for a while. Actually, before I take this out, place it over here. I'm gonna dig my hole. I've gotta make a pretty substantial size hole here. Now I'm gonna plant it, I'm so excited. I haven't brought it out in its entirety. I broke a lot of the roots. So what that means is I am going to have to really water it and get these roots happy. What I'm doing right now is I'm just using this to just kind of loosen the soil around the edge of the pot. So hopefully when I take this out, it'll come out a little more intact than my first one did. Excellent success, successful urban gardening. Now for this plant here, 
I've got some decisions to make in terms of how much I want to take off. I definitely want to take this one off. Definitely want to take some of these leaves that didn't make it. my marigold. Mmm, it's pretty cool. These are my sweet peppers. So I'm gonna take this out first. To a chai first. When you have something like this, you want to just kind of break off the bottom roots. What this does is it allows the roots to, when they regrow, to split. So you'll get more roots. My Genovese basil was started in a peat pot, and this is basically a little starter, seed starter pot that's made out of peat moss. And as you can see, the roots are already starting to grow through. These are really cool because they retain water. Before I plant them, I want to take off this bottom part of the peat pot. What that's gonna do is that is going to allow the roots to grow freely out of the peat pot and into the dirt. Now these are really small, so I'm able to just use my hands to dig a hole. And I'm just digging a hole deep enough so that the dirt that I'm using to cover the seedling goes over the peat pot. You really don't wanna pat it down too much. If you compact it down, what's gonna happen is it's going to constrict the roots from being able to grow freely into the soil. When I'm transplanting a seedling into my raised bed from a pot, I just wanna make sure that I cover it entirely with soil from the garden bed. This is a tiny oregano plant. I'm gonna plant it right here in the middle. I've been growing this oregano in this beautiful terracotta pot for a couple of months now, and I've been cutting off pieces and using them in meals. It's absolutely delicious. Fresh oregano is great. And now I really wanna see what it can do, so I'm planting it in this raised bed. Now, oregano is a perennial plant, so if I leave it here undisturbed all winter, it should grow back year after year. Woo, I am done. Well almost. I'm going to wet both of these raised beds down and then I'm going to use some mulch on top. When you're mulching, you want to make sure that you are giving the soil about a two inch layer of mulch. The mulch is going to keep the moisture in and allow that moisture to get to your plants. Before I let you go, I want to leave you with a few tips for your own successful urban garden. Mulching is key. And if you're going to be outside in the hot sun, make sure you wear sunscreen and drink lots of water.